This video is going to show you how to put together an iframe and why you might want to. An iframe or inline frame is used to embed one HTML element inside of another HTML element or document or website. There are several reasons why you would want to use an iframe. I mainly use them for advertising my products as well as affiliate products on my download pages and websites. For example, I have, let's say, three products that I'm advertising on all of my websites, and I've got, let's say, 70 or 80 different websites, and I want to change out one of those products to a different one. Now, with iframes, I can make that change to the iframe, and it will magically, I mean, automatically be changed on every single location that I have that iframe on, instead of me having to manually go to each and every one of those sites to make that change. And that's a major time saver right there. Here, let's take a look at what I'm talking about. For example, this is an iframe right here. Doesn't look like much, but it is. It's an actual frame that's pulling in this HTML element. This HTML element has some links and some images, and these images and links are clickable. And right now they go to Google, but let's say they went to a different product page. Well, the same iframe is not only on this particular website, but it's on this website and this website and this website, I mean, they're all the same domain, but they're different subdirectories on that domain. And they're also on a static HTML download page. Let's say that I want to get rid of product number two because it's old and outdated, and I want to replace it with a new product. For the sake of this example, we're going to call it product number four. So first off, let's take a look at the actual code for the iframe. Really not a whole lot to it. You've got the opening iframe tag and the closing iframe tag. And right here after source equals is the URL to the actual HTML element that's being pulled in here. Now this HTML element can be pretty much anything. It can be images or links like what I've got demonstrated here, or it can be a video or maybe a banner ad, whatever you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this HTML file and replace that product two with a product four. And you can do this through an FTP client by making the edit here on your, on your desktop and then uploading it using an FTP client to your server and overwriting the existing HTML document. Or you can use your cPanel control panels file manager. And that's what I'm gonna do. Now I've already logged into my file manager here and navigated to that particular file right here. Test one slash in test one slash in. That's the guy right there I want to edit. This one. Now in this particular file manager, I've got an HTML editor and I can use that. So I'm going to just select that, then right click and I can go to HTML editor or I can use the code editor if I know what I'm doing. But for the sake of this example, I'll just use the HTML editor and just left click on that. Click on edit and let's go ahead and look at the source code. And by the way, this HTML element, as you can see, is an actual web page, but it doesn't have to be. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and show you that by deleting everything except for the tables that contain those images and links. So I'm going to select that and delete, delete, and get rid of the closing body and closing HTML tags. Matter of fact, I don't need these guys either. There, now we got it all cleaned up. And what I want to do is Number two here, I want to change that out to number four. And I've already got an image for number four on my server, so that's not going to come back with a no image found error message. And put that as number four, and I think that's it. Now let's go ahead and save this. And as quickly as that, every place that I have this iframe on has just made that change as well. Let's come on back here and I'll show you. Product two. Refresh, product four, boom. Static HTML page on my download page. Refresh, boom. I guess you get the idea, huh? Refresh, boom. Now one thing I wanna point out is that you can make some adjustments here on the width of the iframe. In other words, right here, it's 650 pixels wide and 250 pixels high. If you do not have these elements in here, or if you have incorrect numbers, then you're going to get scroll bars. For example, the width of this guy right here, if you come on back here to the editor, you can see it's 550 pixels wide. Let's make this a little bit bigger. I mean, it's going to look pretty dorky, but 
to demonstrate what I'm talking about here, this HTML element, as soon as the save pops up, okay, is now wider than the 650 container that this iframe is. So now then if we refresh this page, we get the scroll bar. So be wary of that. However wide your HTML element is, you want to be mindful of the maximum width of the container that that iframe is going to go on. In other words, if you're going to put your iframe, which in this example is 750 pixels wide, if you're going to put that on a website that is 800 or 1,000 pixels wide, no problem, no scroll bars. But if you're going to put that on a bunch of websites that are 500 pixels wide, then you're going to have scroll bars. So you want to make some adjustments accordingly, in which case you might want to have your HTML element narrower and maybe more rows. Totally up to you, but I did want to point that out if you aren't a fan of scroll bars. And that's going to bring us to the end of this video on creating and using iframes. So thanks for watching and you have a great day.